April 27, 2011, 11 years ago, a day of death and destruction in the Tennessee Valley, and those of us who were here will never forget. Oh, it's quite memorable, and it's etched into our memories, but Cedric has a look at that and our forecast. Cedric, tell us about it. Yes, Cindy, David, I'll tell you what, 11 years ago, you know, it was a long day here in the Tennessee Valley. Things kicked off very early during the morning. We had a round of severe weather, including multiple tornado warnings, and then another round developed in the afternoon. Take a look at this. This is a map of all the tornado warnings that were issued on that day. You can see the tornado warnings kicked off over Arkansas, Louisiana, East Texas, and made their way all the way up across Mississippi, Alabama, Southeast Tennessee, North Georgia, and notice right Right across the Tennessee Valley and areas just to the south and west, you've got multiple warnings laid on top of other warnings. Yes, yeah, several of us had many tornado warnings that day. In fact, as we look at the overall tornado tracks, you can see there were several rounds of tornadoes. Now, the first round during the morning, most of the large or violent tornadoes, those EF3s or higher, were off to our south and west. Then we saw that second round of storm activity develop during the peak heating of the day and the afternoon hours, and then we had those very large supercell storms develop over Alabama and move northeast across portions of the area, and that's what produced those violent tornadoes here in the Tennessee Valley. In fact, we had numerous violent long track tornadoes. You can see all these lines are different tracks, and the color is associated with the uh, strength of those tornadoes. And notice, yeah, we even had an EF5 tornado move through portions of DeKalb County from Rainsville up into southern Dade County. We had the EF4 tornado that made its way here from uh, Catoosa County up through Atchison and Hamilton County and right into Bradley County. We had another EF4 tornado that made its way from Sequatchie County up north. So, yeah, it was quite the violent day. But, uh, yeah, that's a day that we'll remember. But thankfully, outside now, we've got lots of blue sky across the area. Cobalt blue skies, nothing like 11 years ago at this time. In fact, almost what I would consider near perfect weather here in the Tennessee Valley. 71 degrees currently in Chattanooga with all that sunshine. Dew points very low, dry air in place across the area and a light northerly breeze. It's just perfect to be outside this afternoon. Temperatures area wide, 65 in Altamont, 68 in Athens, 69 in Blue Ridge, 70 in Murphy, 68 degrees in Cleveland, and we had 71 in Chattanooga, 72 in Dalton currently, and 71 in Fort Payne. If you have any plans heading out this evening, the weather will cooperate. Lots of sunshine giving way to clear skies tonight. It's just going to be downright pleasant out there. We'll see these temperatures falling from the 70s into the 60s, and yes, eventually they'll head down into the 50s and then the 40s by tomorrow morning. In fact, I think we'll drop down to another chilly night as we go into your Thursday morning with lows into the 40s across the area. These will be a few degrees warmer than last night, but still on the chilly side. So keep that in mind. You may need a, a light jacket or a hoodie or a sweater as you step out the door tomorrow morning. But as we saw today, another sunny day for us as we go into your Thursday. High temperatures will climb into the mid to upper 70s with that dry air in place, so a little warmer than this afternoon, but overall still a very pleasant day shaping up for us as we go into your Thursday. Now watch the humidity trend. We've got the high pressure giving us that dry air, very comfortable humidity levels for now, but notice as we get towards the end of the week, we start to see some humidity building up near the Gulf of Mexico here, and that humidity will stream to the north and east as we go into the weekend, so you'll notice more humidity creeping up just ahead of a front that's going to be moving in and that front is going to stall out across the area so that's going to set us up for a fairly wet pattern with daily chances of afternoon showers and thunderstorms starting late this weekend and going through most of next week so get ready for that but overall let's take a look at the next uh, seven days you'll be able to see lots of sunshine thursday highs in the upper 70s near 80 on friday with a pop-up shower or storm going into the weekend better chances of daily showers and storms as we get throughout most of next week. Guys?